Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan, and we're talking NFL Draft. It's getting close, guys, just this coming Thursday. Now, we're going through the NFC South, and starting off with the Saints. Now, if you've been following my recent videos, we're doing the um, Mock Draft Simulator with the DraftNetwork.com's um, oh, Mock Draft for each individual team going up against the computer simulation for all the others and uh, going against the predictive board that they have. So um, running this a few times with any of your favorite teams, you'll see a lot of different scenarios as they could play out. Uh, they don't really factor in trades, but here we go. Uh, talking top 100 picks usually, but the Saints don't really have that many. They've only got one actually. Nothing in the first round at pick 62. There's going to be slim pickings for the premier talent, obviously, um, but you can still get an impact player. Um, positions that don't typically go in the first round um, will still have a lot of their high-end talent. Um, what I went with at this position was safety uh, Darnell Savage out of Maryland. Now, safety has a lot of interesting options in this draft. Um, and again, uh, like I previously stated, you don't typically see them going extremely early unless they are an absolute premier talent that's going to come out and just change the league. Um, not really many of those historically, so safety gets pushed down the board, and it's a position of need for the Saints. Um, they have a very complete team already. They were really building for a Super Bowl run last year, got robbed in the NFC Championship game. They still have the bulk of that roster together. Now, what they've done in free agency in um, allowing Mark Ingram to walk, which was, in my mind, kind of dumb, um, and replacing him with uh, Latavius Murray, um, you got a, a not-as-good version of the same player. And you didn't really save a heck of a lot of money in the process of doing that. So that's a little bit mind-boggling. But you did get a big upgrade at the tight end position in uh, Jared Cook. So great job there. Um, filling holes that were created through free agency and that you already had uh, stacked over from last year, that's, that's good strategy. But um, in the draft, you're generally looking for depth positions at the... Um, the picks that they have and special team players. There's not really much going on here. What I would expect for the Saints is to pick up somebody like a Darnell Savage or um, oh, like a Thornhill. A safety position makes sense for me here um, based off of where the talent's likely going to fall and what the Saints need. Um, but beyond that, they, they might be using these picks to trade for more veteran talent. They have to stack up for another Super Bowl run this year. Um, you don't know how long Breeze is going to last, and that's a big factor here. So it's win now, 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 now. Um, much the same situation that they have in New England. Just stack the team with people that you know can help you this year. Don't really care about the future uh, because you don't know what you're going to get in your next quarterback. You know what you have in Breeze, and you know you can win with them now. So um, if they trade away all of these picks and get veteran players that can um, make a contribution right away, it wouldn't surprise me, um, and it'd probably be a smart bet, really. Um, these picks are going to be depth, so you may as well just use those to get somebody that you know is going to help now. Um, Again, not much going on for the Saints this year in the draft. That's not where their focus should be anyway. They did great in free agency, and they really just need to keep this ship pointed in the right direction so they can make another run for maybe one last chance at a Super Bowl for Breeze. 